Jim Henson's Muppet Babies presents The Legend of Gimme Gulch. Written by Ellen Weiss, illustrated by Donna Reynolds. Gimme that! shouted Baby Piggy. But Piggy, I had it first! Baby Fozzie protested. No, you didn't, said Piggy. I was playing with it before, so gimme! They both pulled on the cowboy hat. Hey, said baby Kermit, what's going on here? I had it first, Kermit, said Fozzie. No, he didn't, Kermie. I did, insisted Piggy. Here, you decide, she handed the hat to Kermit. But as Kermit took the hat, something magical happened. Suddenly, everything around them seemed different. There they were, right in the middle of an old western town. It wasn't much of a town, though. All the buildings were falling down, and the whole place was a mess. Gimme Gulch, population 10. No sharing allowed. Doc Rolf leaned out of his window. Anybody got a hammer? He said, my roof is falling in. Gonzo the kid came out of his house. The door fell with a crash. I have a hammer, he said but I'll only lend it to you if you share your nails with me. I have to fix my door. Share, said Rolf. No way. That was life in Gimme Gulch. Folks who had paints wouldn't share it with folks who had paintbrushes. Folks who had horses wouldn't share it with folks who had saddles. So the houses went unpainted and the horses went unwritten. This whole Town is getting worse than it ever was, sighed Sheriff Kermit. I'd hate to think what would happen if the masked menace ever came back. He shuddered at the thought. Along came Cowboy Fozzie leading his horse, Bessie May. Boy, Sheriff Kermit, he said, I sure would l love a chocolate chip cookie about now to go with all this milk, he patted his cow. Just then, Miss Piggy appeared on the front porch of her milk bar. Oh, Kermie, I just baked the most wonderful chocolate cookies. It's too bad I ran out of milk to go with them. Cowboy Fozzie has lots of milk, said Kermit. Will you share it with me? Piggy asked Fozzie. Will you share your cookies with me? asked Fozzie. Share? My cookies? How could you even think such a thing? Huffed Miss Piggy. I only made six dozen. Then you can't have any milk, sniffled Fozzie. Sniffed Fozzie. Sheesh, said Kermit in disgust. This is the most selfish town in the world. Suddenly, Deputy Sheriff Scooter came running up the street. Sheriff Kermit! Sheriff Kermit! He panted. The masked menace is coming. You know what his appetite is like. Our whole town is going to get eaten. We gotta do something. But what should we do? Asked Fozzie fearfully. Sheriff Kermit thought for a minute. Well, we could build a big strong fence to protect us. If we had a hammer and some nails. I've got the nails, cried Doc Rolf. And I've got the hammer, shouted Gonzo the Kid. That's the idea, said Sheriff Kermit. The fence was finished just in time. Down the street came a big cloud of dust. It's him, whispered anyone, everyone. The masked menace. Hungry, hung, bellowed the masked menace. Hungry, hungry, hungry. He started eating the fence. Maybe he'd like some milk and cookies, whispered Kermit, I've got the milk, offered Fozzie. I've got the cookies, added Piggy. The mass minutes took a bite. Good, he smiled. More. There's plenty for all, said Sheriff Kermit. And there was. The end.